is we're going to measure the width of both the purfling mm -hmm. and the binding together. And it says 226, 225. Yeah, so 225. That is going to be the depth of the channel side to side this way. We're first going to cut the, uh, well, let's call this the width and the depth will be down, okay? So the width will be 225 and then the depth will be 61 thou. And I want to have it protruding, you know, two or three thousandths of an inch, not too terribly much. So say 60 by 225. So this particular bearing is set up so it's good for the binding. So I know it's a, it's a small pass. It's not gonna take off very much. So I'll start off by setting up the router's depth going downwards. And I wanna see if I can get it set up to uh, 60. It's a lot harder on this side. You pro are you going to put clamps on? You probably don't even need to. Oh yeah, you could you could put clamps on if you want, James. Just one at the end, if you wish. perimeter but again starting at the peaks like so and uh, don't have to worry about this area at all like we'll cut it but you don't have to be special or careful it doesn't matter Take note, look really close, you will notice that there's a lot of hair and fuzz sticking out from that spruce. It's uh, It's got to get sanded a little bit before we put the, the purfling in, but uh, it's obviously not the right, uh, right depth yet. So I'm just going to take a piece of 220 here. You missed a spot there too. That'll be okay. That's, yeah. It's going to be under the neck. Okay. So, very careful. But, uh, I wanted to do one pass quickly so you could see what happens and what's left over. Because uh, that rudder bit is, uh, it's about due for a replacement. But it still is cutting fairly nicely. If you go too fast, you can get tear out. And you don't want to have tear out. But, uh, I don't think there's any tear on this. I hope there's a little bit just so you can see. Want it. That 
that's uh, that's just fine. So next thing I'm going to do is uh, change the bearings. I'm going to cut uh, cut a channel that's closer to 225, but not all the way. So I'll put on I think the third smallest bearing. The third smallest bearing should still be a small enough cut that it won't take me all the way there. Putting the bearing back on. Not too uh, tight, not too tight, just taut. But what you don't want to do is uh, just do a test cut on your guitar. Make sure you do a test cut on a piece of MDF. So now, the channel is deep enough for the purfling, but not the binding. So that's, that's a good depth. Sorry guys, I'm just gonna grab this. 